Uh, well, there we go. There's the background. Well, to be honest, I don't think me and Liam wanted to do this episode of a match review today because we're not in a good mood after yesterday, but we'll still do it anyways. We've got to still bring the content to everyone on the Argyle way. So, yeah. anyways, everyone, hope you, you are all well. Hopefully you are all recovering from yesterday. And I think most people after that game will probably be reacting like this. You absolute con! <laughs> they'll be throwing their chairs they'll be throwing their um that argyle um that argyle t-shirts across the room no god no god please no no <laughs> not again please no but everyone's annoyed i'm annoyed and i'm just sat here eating a croissant right now so at least it's cheering me up a bit that I'm eating something that I really enjoy. But the result from yesterday, Peterborough 5, Argyle 2. The se- it's annoying. The third time that we conceded five goals this season is very, very frustrating. And obviously, me and Liam did a review, did the um, watch along for this game. And it was a very, very frustrating game. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> honestly, it was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous for both of us to watch, for sure. And and then some other teams getting a perfect results as well, and it just didn't. It just piles more pressure on us right now. So, talk to me, Liam. How bad was that result? Uh, honestly, yesterday for us. Um, yeah, shocking. I mean, the waveform continues to be poor. Um, 
yeah, we just need to try and bounce back against Charlton. But Peterborough done done a good job on us. Clark Howard scored again. Um, but yeah, shocking really. Mhm. Yeah, shocking result for um for us, and obviously a result that we didn't want after drawing away to Fleetwood, and now it's piled more pressure on the Argyle lads, which they didn't want, and I don't think all of the fans wanted as well. So it's um it's literally <coughs> probably the worst thing that could happen for all of us. And Jack is not on; uh, he's probably still recovering from the game because he went there. Probably the same for Craig and the same for the other lads, so I don't blame them all for not jumping on. But hopefully we do get some people on today. I don't know if a lot of people will jump, but we'll see. We will see anyways. Hopefully people do end up jumping on. And it will make it a lot more of a better stream for all of us. So let's be honest. Hopefully it does. Um, But let me just share this around. Let me just share this in the Instagram chat, by the way, so... People can jump in. Fafana. Also for Will Sterling. Once again to Romero. Right, there we go. It's in there. All right. Hello, Nat. Afternoon. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's an it's an it's an annoying day for all of us right now as Argo fans, but we'll try and be positive as we can. But I don't think we're going to be as positive as we were after this result. Well, I woke up feeling absolutely stressed, so not really what you want. So, But first of all, the main topic I'd say a lot of people talk about is our defence. How bad was that defence? It was atrocious, if I'm honestly going to say. This is why we do need Dan Scar back. And if we don't, and if we don't get Dan Scar back for the next couple of games, we are fucked. We're fucked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Honestly, we need Dan Scar back soon because he's an important defender for us, and he's he was he's been our main leader through our defense through this entire season. It's been absolutely terrible, and it's just been since he's been gone, we've had bad result after bad result after bad result. Shocking, and it just gets on my nerves as well that we're all, we're constantly getting these injuries, and it fucks us up. And it's just ruining our season. It's ruining us. Michael Cooper, for example. And then we've got Callum Burton, who was, um, I'd say he was atrocious yesterday as well. So, Ugh. but we will go through play reigns in a bit. So we will probably go through all that. It'll be very, very bad play reigns, if I'm honestly going to say. There was only one player that played well. So there you go. <laughs> there was only one player, I'd honestly say, that played pretty well, which we didn't want. But. Yeah. Anyways, though, um, do you want to put this in the Discord, by the way, as well? I've done that. Oh, you've done that already. Nice. Sweet as. Um, but honestly, honestly, though, how would you? And honestly, though, if you've got um anything else to say about the team, who did you think honestly that um did not have a good game yesterday? Uh, kind of might. Definitely. Um, same with Longwick. He's just bad in general. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. You were getting absolutely spun on that right-hand side, I'm telling you. Um, you got absolutely spun. Yeah. Mason Clark was doing bloody... Um, Mason was making him look like a spinny top. It was absolutely atrocious. And most... <laughs> Oh, for God's sake, I was just speaking then. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I thought what I was going to say. Oh, no. oh, God's sakes. I forgot what I was going to say. Annoying. But um, hey ho. It's, um, yeah, long. Oh, yeah. No, but for long week, though, right now, why don't, we James, why don't we just start playing James Bolton? Seriously. Can we just start playing James Bolton from now on? I agree. So I yeah. feel like you'll probably be a much better defender than um, Longwick. I'm sorry to say, but I feel like he'll actually play much better than him. Let's be honest 100%. at this point. 100%. And it's very, very frustrating. It get, it gets on my nerves, simple as that. But nah, he's um, somehow managing to get away with these bad performances and he's still playing. And it's kind of annoying me. 
Yeah. 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 And he doesn't deserve to be sometimes he doesn't deserve to be playing in this team and it's it gets on my nerves. Really yeah. does. But the manager's clearly um seeing something that um that a lot of us are not seeing and it's just hey ho. And like he said in the interview yesterday, we was pretty poor we was poor. We didn't um react quick enough to second balls. And he was right. We did not react quick enough to second balls and we was very, very slow. Very, very slow. Yeah. Poor. Absolutely poor. And it was just a game where we was just we were, it felt like we just wasn't on it. We felt if generally felt like we was not in that game at all. And it was so frustrating for all of us. Honestly. So for any Argyle fan that says we're we're gonna we're gonna drop down to sick. We're gonna absolutely bottle this season. Think about this. This is only one game. If you're not loyal to the team, and if we're only coming for when we win games, fuck off and don't support Argyle. Simple as that. Because if you want to support Argyle, support them through and through. Keep on supporting them. Go into go to every not go to every game, but at least support the team at every home game possible. Because bringing them down and saying shit things about the manager and all that is not going to help. I don't understand why people just keep on doing that. It's freaking stupid and it pisses me off. Not only that a lot of fans just decide to uh, just keep on criticising the manager and keep on saying shoey out and so all these players don't deserve to wear, to, wear the, to wear the badge. They don't deserve to uh, put the shirt on. They don't deserve anything. And they keep on giving death threats. What's the point? Just fuck off and don't play. Just don't watch football. Honestly, it's it's horrendous. But yeah, let's let's carry on with this. But um, twelve minutes in, we'll go through player ratings now because at least then we can just get through it and just get it done and over with. Because I'm not in not in a good mood after that game yesterday. Is tell you what, it's it's very annoyed. It's really annoyed me. Really yeah. Annoyed me. Uh, Sterling. And some, I'm telling you what, what the fuck are these ratings from freaking football, man? This is a joke. Hello, Max Gamer. We're not in a good mood today. But hello, <laughs> hello, 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 anyways. Hello. Um, let's go. Window play ratings. I'll tell you what, Liam, look at these play ratings. What the fuck is this? Callum Wright on 6.7. You're taking the piss. No, no. Bollocked. But play ratings. If you want to go through them one by one, Liam, if you want. Um, yeah, I can do. Yep. Uh, uh, afterwards. Yeah. Burton. Six. Um, early, 6.5. Gillespie, 6.5. Wilson, six. Um, what oh, save? Uh, Hardy six, right five, Mumba uh, six, Matete six as well, Longwick five. Um, who else have I missed? So, Burn Wilson, Ashley Longwick, Early Butcher. Matete, Mumba, Callum Wright, Cosgrove. Have you said Cosgrove? Oh, Cosgrove, six. Uh, six. Uh, Matete, I think. Don't, I don't know if I said Matete. Yeah, you've done Matete. You can put him as a six. Just yeah, and done. then the bench as well. I'll get the bench up as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Houghton, 6.5. Edwards, six. Ennis, six. It's ours six in Mayor six as well. Fez, Fez. Yeah. But um I'll go through them as well, honestly. That uh, thanks Liam for doing them. But um if I was yeah. gonna go for a rating for Callum Burton, it would probably be a five for me. Fair I'm enough. Honestly I'm honestly gonna say I know everyone see, keeps on saying that um we need a better keeper and all that. We need a better keeper. We do, we do uh, true, we do need a better keeper, but what else can we do? We're getting injured. We're getting in bad injuries, and we're getting absolutely fucked over by. We got fucked over by Sheffield Wednesday for that injury, but we're not putting all the blame on Sheffield Wednesday. 
and Windass and all that. But the way um, he got injured was annoying and I hated that. But for Callum Burton, I've, I don't really don't want to say it, but he is not good enough for this team. We need no. a better keeper. And if, we're, if, we're, if we do go up next season, we need a better keeper. Simple as that. He's not good enough for this team. He's, he's simple. Simple as that. Not good enough. Longwick, I'd I'd probably I'd probably give him a five point five. Being a sense of humour. Yeah. I'd Longwick five point five. He was terrible on that right hand side. Got absolutely. He was getting absolutely spun yeah. like a spinny top on that right hand side by Mason Clark. Yeah, Mason so. got look. He, he got made look like a right dickhead Pretty on that side. I'm sorry to say. And and for pushing up consistently far up the field does not help either. And it, you just you're just completely leaving so many gaps on that side, and it absolutely destroys the team because they don't know where to go. They don't know where they don't know how far to push up the field, and it's just completely leaving everyone out of out of position. Like for that fourth goal, for example, I think it was that I think it was the third or fourth goal. Atrocious, absolutely atrocious. And they were getting absolutely left for dead. Left for dead. Wilson, I'd probably say one of the better... Def- well, I'd say one of the better defenders. Gillespie played well. He deserves a lot higher rating. Uh, Wilson, I'd probably give a 6.5. Yeah. I feel, I feel bad for Wilson because, honestly, he had to push a lot further on that right-hand side to help out Lomwick. And it didn't help at all. It didn't help. And when you've got Clark Harris, Poku and Mason Clark up front, you're going to get absolutely obliterated. You're going to get obliterated. It's a very Honestly. So, it was going to happen for... It was going to happen for Wilson and all the other players as well. Do you think the result could have been affected by your semi-final game? But remember as well, we played midweek and then we played on um, a Saturday. So, that's two games in... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, that's two games in... Four to five, like four or five days, uh-huh, and remember Bolton as well. They've got to play another game soon, so that's three games in six days for them. How is that going to affect them? Like, it will yeah. really, it will affect them. So I think it will affect them definitely. So there you go. Um, oh bloody hell! Everyone's getting carded, aren't they? <laughs> Emerson's getting booked. Off and maybe a yellow card. Yeah, Emerson's getting booked. But um, speaking on that, yeah. And then the yellow card as well didn't help against, um, I think he brought, brought down uh, Clark Harris. Yeah. Yeah, Burton could have done better, but he really wasn't helped by the defence. But as well, some of the saves he should have made. Some of the saves. He should have made some of them saves. I'm sorry, but he should have made. He should have saved most of them chances that we conceded. I'm sorry, yeah. we should have. I don't, right, good. So. I don't think so personally. I don't think so personally. That to be honest as well, when you play midweek and then you're playing on um a Saturday as well, that's not gonna help. Um Gileshvi, I'll probably give him a seven. Probably one of our better defenders on the pitch, if I'm honestly gonna say. He got and he got a goal. So I can't really put a lot of blame on Gileshvi. He's been one of our um better performing players the past recent weeks. I can't really play, put a, a blame on him a lot. I really can't. I really can't put a blame on him. He's been really, he has been decent. So there you go. And and getting a goal as well also helps that. Yeah, fair enough, Max. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Umber, he got an assist, and I thought he did play well on that right hand side, but didn't help that he had to come back and. Um, cover uh, quite a lot in that game and it's just getting absolutely beat so I'd probably give him a probably 6.5 oh ZH has been sent off oh bye bye ZH bye bye ZH bye bye ZH um, but let's carry on um, Gilles- um, Bally Mumba 6.5 he got an assist, which it was a good cross to get the goal. But apart from all that, did anything else happen here? No. Did he do anything else? No. Oh, has he gone too early with the card? No, oh, he slapped him. He slapped him in the face. 
Nice. There you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, Bally Mammoth 2.5. You've done pretty well, got the assist, and yeah. And it, it was just so sad that you had to just try and push back a little bit, and it's just um, we couldn't get a proper rhythm in the game, which was very, very annoying. Um, Matete, I don't think he had the best of games. He tried to get himself involved, but I just don't think he uh, found. I just don't think he um, got properly involved. I just don't think he actually got properly involved in this game. No red card. No red card. It's a yellow now. Uh-huh. Wait, that's wait. So what? So he's not given a red card for that. What? That's a red card every day of the week. How is that not a red card? So he gives a red card and then doesn't give a good red card. That is a red card. He slapped him in the face. So no, so a slap in the face doesn't count as a red card anymore. Oh god, please don't get me even more annoyed. Um, yeah, Matete, I'm gonna give a five. I'd say I'm not gonna lie. I'd say a, I was about to say a five. I'm gonna say a six. He did not. He did not have a good game, and it shows how. And it's shown that he got, he got, he did get subbed off in the seventy-first minute. He didn't get involved properly. He didn't properly get involved like he usually does. Matt Butcher, same. He played very well. He was atrocious as well. I'd say five point five with uh, Lomwick. They both played very, very poor. And Saxon early six point five like Mumba. He got himself a goal, which was fairs, but and and he gave away a penalty, so that brings down the rating. So that does bring down the rating as well. So there you go. But Saxon early, you can put a lot of blame on him as well. He's a young player. He's only played twice. And I thought he did actually play all right in that game. Yeah. And I, yeah was that, and I feel bad for him. Yeah, I know. What just happened in that game, Dazza? Yeah. What the hell just happened? Um, Callum Wright, five. I think that's going to be my first five that I probably that's going to be my only five that I'll give to someone. I think I gave Callum Burton a five as well, so that's not only a so they're both a five. Absolutely atrocious. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, but as well though, it's a ha- it's a it's a it's a hand across the face, Max. It's a hand across the face. <laughs> It's a hand across the face, Max. You would see some players getting red carded for that. I'm sorry to say, but you would... and also that what didn't help as well. How long it took to get to a final decision for that? Like that is atrocious. That was terrible. Um, all right, so it's actually uh, 25 past. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, booze everywhere. Um. Yeah, Callum Wright 5, atrocious, and it showed why he got to tuck off in the very cold minute. Hardy, uh, yeah, 6. Didn't really properly get involved. Didn't probably get involved, but the way Callum Wright played, he didn't play as, ba- he didn't play as bad as Callum Wright. Col- Cosgrove, um, probably one of our outstanding, uh, probably one of our um, best performing players in that game. At least he... He was a hard. He was one of our most hard-working players in that game, Liam. Yeah, I'd give him a seven. He was at one of our. I'd, uh, seven? No, if I'm giving Saxon early and Mumba six point five, so I'll give them a seven, and then Cosgrove um, a six, a higher, a six point five, because he he was um, he was one of our better players in that game. Honestly, he was one of our better players. Seriously. He was one of our hard-working players. He got a role, He got involved in a lot. Hit the post. Could have, and he's had lo- and he had loads of chances in that game. I couldn't put any blame on him. Then the subs. Danny Mayer six. He did quite get involved in quite a bit, but didn't improve, uh, didn't achieve anything in that game. Finners has probably he came on and done done pretty well. Six point five, and he got himself an assist. So fair play to him for that. Yeah, Jacob, honestly, um, I'm not in a good mood. Me and Liam are not in a good mood to talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> um, Niall Ennis, six, didn't really do much. Joe Edwards, 
six as well, and then Houghton six. Honestly, I don't even want to go through. I don't even want to bloody um, slowly go through the play ratings because if I if we if we would have got a good result, then I would have probably gone through it better. But I, I'm really not in the mood to go for it too 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 slowly and get a proper like thought analysis on it. I'm fuming fuming with the fuming with the way our boys played. But but some of them ratings though, Liam, it shows that. And if you want to um, say something about it as well, it shows that next game we have to properly step up. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. we don't step up next game, we're in trouble. We're in massive trouble. Mhm. And it could be a downward spiral for us. So, hopefully, it does not end up being um one of those um like bad turnarounds for the season for us. I really hope it doesn't. But is anybody else in um, cha- um, Clark Harris is in championship player too? Good for that Tim Pot League, exactly as well. He's yeah. a championship player. That also didn't help Liam as well. Yeah, we're playing against a championship level striker, which is ridiculous. Which really didn't help at all. It probably won't be a long episode today, boys, as um, it's a really really bad um, result for us. So 26 minutes will probably be good for us. Um, it's good for us that we talked about the Argo game. But has anybody else got any questions? Argo mid-season bottle has come just a bit later this time. It always happens, doesn't it? It always happens. It always bloody happens. Every single goddamn fucking time. <laughs> but, um, apart from that, though, uh, lads, we will go through the um, EFL predictions as well. So, um, um, And as well... Um, Stevie's now um, taken part in this as well. So now Stevie's at least um, now taken part in um, the predictions now. So we can add him to the table. Oh, this pen's dying. Have I got any more pens anywhere? Where's the pen's at? What the f- This pen's dying though as well, ain't it? <laughs> My pen's just having a bad one. Same as Borough, playoffs and promotion is in our hands still, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say you've bottled it yet. It's still in your hands at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Steve is a legend, man. Steve is an absolute legend right now. And he's one of our first viewers that's actually... Um, he's one of the first people that um, started viewing it and started watching the Argo way and now has um, started coming on with us, which is absolutely fantastic. With five people in here, if you've got any more questions about our goal and uh, result and our result yesterday, leave them, put them in the, put them in the chat if you feel like it. But um, we're going to go through play ratings. So, um, can you get the um, yours and Jack predictions at Liam? Yeah. Uh, he put um, Collins to score, so he got a point for that. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go through that now. Wait there. I'm just um, writing your names down. Good. If you go on a free match um, closing streak, then you're a bit knackered because teams are around you ain't dropping mo- many points. Lose it. Closing streak? You mean losing streak? <laughs> <laughs> closing streak. That's brilliant. But yeah, losing streak. Yeah. We need to beat Charlton next game. We need to beat Charlton. Yep. It's a must win that. But, um, first game, Bristol Rovers 3 0 against Oxford, which I did not expect. And I didn't get a point for this, so that is absolutely atrocious for me. But fair play to Stevie, though. He put 3-1 Rovers, so it's a point to him. What did you lads put? Jack put the goal score correct, and that's it, I think. That's it, Fez. And Julian? Nothing. Nothing, okay. 
To be honest, we did not expect Bristol Rovers to get a result in this game after the way they have been playing the recent weeks. But with Oxford right now, that's pulling loads of pressure on... Uh, well, Carl Robinson's gone now. Carl Robinson's gone, so we can't even say it's putting pressure on him. He's gone. He's left the club. So, bad result for Oxford. And now without a manager, who are they going to get in next? Only time will tell, but right now they're in very, very bad form. And they're probably, they probably could be uh, pitted into a relegation fight. Simple as that. They could be pitted into a relegation fight. Derby and Barnsley will be very tough for Plymouth, let's be honest. It, it will. I've got to go now, bye. No worries, Max. Yep. I think you'll be yeah, Max. By the time I get yeah, that's fine. No worries, Max. In a bit. But, yeah. Good good result for Bristol Rovers. And that's um, probably made sure, probably definitely made sure that they're probably going to be staying up this season for sure. Definitely. Um, and then next result, Barnsley. 4-1 win. I don't think we all expected this. I don't think we all expected this result, if I'm honestly going to say. I didn't get the, I didn't get a point for this again. Neither did I. Um, Stevie didn't get any points either. I, did you not yeah, put the exactly, goal? Yeah, um, the one team we don't bet on, and they win. Stupid. Um, did you? What did you put? I I don't think I got a point. Did you not put McGoldrick to score? Did anybody not put him? No, no one put McGoldrick to score. No. Oh no! Wait, did someone put? Mc... I swear. Have a look at Jacks. Try and find Jacks. No. Oh screw it! I'll find him. Okay. I think we're alone now. Down in the heart of the town. I think we're alone now. All right, there's Jax. Uh, so he put 2 2 Bristol Rovers and Oxford. He put, what did he put for this game? He put. Barnsley two one, so he's got a, he's got a point. All right. So that's another point for Jack. There you go. But there you go for Barnsley though. What a result! What a result for Barnsley, and it's it's put them right in the race for. I'd say it has actually put them in the race for automatics. It generally has with this yeah. result. It definitely has, and now it's. It put a tiny bit of pressure on Derby because now they've got to go on and win against um, us. They've got to beat us if they want to catch up. But but for Barnsley, ter- uh, that's a brilliant result for them. And now it's got them in a very, very good position for the remaining end of the season. So we will see how they go on for the remainder of this season. But for Derby, yeah, put a little bit of pressure on them. Bolton 2-1. I knew they would win anyways. I, I put um, 3-1 Bolton, so at least that's a point to me. Steve, he put 4-0 Port at I, I honestly respect him for doing that. What did Jack put? <sighs> Jack put 4-0 Bolton and Morley to score, but that's a point for him anyways. What did you put, Liam? Uh. 2-0 Bolton. 2-0 Bolton. And you put Dion Charles to score. So that is a point to you anyways. Like like um, all the Bolton fans said as well, they didn't play well. They didn't play well, but... Um, they didn't play well, but they still got the points. And like I say, if you haven't played well, but still won the game, then it shows that you, uh, you have a very good winning mentality right now in your team. Simple as that. You still have a pretty good winning mentality in that team. And that is what promoted, either promoted or very, very good teams do. They don't play well, but still manage to get the wins. Like, exactly. And that's why, and that's some of these teams right now, like Bolton, for example. So, good result for them. And it's um, got them further and further up the table. And they're catching up to our goal. Simple as that. Um, Burton and Accrington Stanley, nil-nil. 
I, I swear someone actually did put nil nil for this. Or not? Or did somebody not do that? What did Jack put? Jack put... I can eat the TV, Hav. <laughs> yeah, all right, no worries. Jack put 2-0... Two... Jack put 2-0 two nil... nil... Burton, so no point. No one, no one got any points for this. It was a boring 0-0. Nil -nil. Yeah. That's about, no, it's still not a bad result anyways. It's still giving them points and they're still unbeaten. And they're still yep. are they still unbeaten? No, no, no. They lost the ports, that's my bad. But they're still going on a pretty decent uh, run right now, if I'm honestly gonna say. They're eighteenth in the league and they're four points away from the the bottom four. So they're doing really, really well and it's um getting them further away from danger. But yeah, and I think Sandy are just in the bottom four right now, which is not great for them. What cack music, for God's sake. <laughs> um, but, uh, next game, Sheffield Wednesday, 1-0. I put 3-1 Wednesday. Come on, Wednesday! Come on, Wednesday! Yep, yeah, there you go. Liam's done that. Um, I put... Yeah, so that's a point to me. What did Jack put? He put 1-0 Charlton, so that's not even a point to him. And then you, Liam, you put... 2-1 um, Wednesday. 2-1 Wednesday, so that's still a point to you anyways. And, yeah, so that's a point to you. Stevie didn't get a point. Um, but, yeah, still on the winning run, and I feel like they've won the league now. Wednesday, I feel like they're going to win the league now. I don't yeah. think we need to even put them in any conversation from now on. So fair play to Wednesday. And they're still getting the stead still getting the wins, which is absolutely brilliant for them. <laughs> and then we got Charlton next, so well done. Well done. Fucking hell. Can't wait for that. Are we gonna get done by Rack Sapke? Hope not. I really hope not. But um we I don't think any of us got a point for this, right? Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, none of us got a point for this, so let's just move on. Yeah, none of us. Yeah, let's just move on. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, bye. See ya. We're not talking about ya. Um, one nil Fleetwood. Annoying. I put one one. Ah, annoying. Jack put, put one one as well. I get a point. Uh, Stevie put one nil Morecambe and I put two nil Morecambe. Uh, two nil uh, Fleetwood. Sorry, two one Fleetwood. Two one Fleetwood. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So that's still a point to you. This is a very very low point weekend for all of us. Mhm. Mm right. Honestly, this is bad. This has been really bad for us. But um. Fleetwood right now, and they're in. They are now at the top half of the table. Who would have thought that? Look at the a comment. Couple of weeks ago, who would have thought that Fleetwood would <laughs> be in the top half of the table a couple of weeks ago? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought that. How they have turned this season around in an instant is unreal. I. But fair play to um. But fair play though. Fair fair play to uh, Scott Brown for doing such a good job for them. Seriously. Right well done, to, well done to, uh, well done to Brown Source. Well done. Yep. Alt one nil Tottenham. What a dub. Who the hell scored? Kulisevsky. No, Oliver Skip. Oliver Skip. Yeah. Oh my, what a goal. Okay, it was all of a skip then. My bad. I thought it was Kulisesku because it was mainly showing him on the cameras. <laughs> but one nil but one nil Fleetwood, fair play to um fair play to them. And uh, now now catching up to everyone else. Um Lincoln, your shit. One one Forest Green and Lincoln. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is not Good. Well, they, I know they're getting points, but 
still <laughs> pretty bad. Pretty bad. It'll probably keep him in the league, but still pretty bad. Um, Jack didn't get it right. You put 3-1 Lincoln. Um, you put yeah. Ben House at score, so that's a point for you anyways, Liam. Yeah. This is a very, very low-pointed weekend. Oh, my God. This is atrocious. Um, no one else. No one else. I know I didn't get a point either, so very... <laughs> But Jordan Garrick scoring now. How have Lincoln managed that then? I don't know. It's ridiculous, Jacob. It's actually ridiculous how they've managed how they have managed that. Like I don't understand. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, Daryl. What a bloody uh what a bloody comment. Um but yeah. And for Forest Green, even though with that draw, they can at least celebrate something, but they won't be celebrating that long because they'll probably be going straight down. So that's all we can honestly say about that. It switch one nil. That's at least I've, le I've at least got a point. So thank God for that. You absolute con! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Are you just angry that uh, it switch won that game? Yeah. For God's sakes. So at least I've got a point. Um, what other results? So yeah, Jack got a point. And what did you say for this game, Liam? Did you say Ipswich win? Yeah. What and yeah? Who who was your goal scorer as well? Uh, Chaplin. Chaplin. So yeah, no point for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, Stevie with no points for that one. Who did? What did? Who did? Who was the goal scorer for Jack? Um, who was the goal? Uh, Broadhead. Oh. So yeah, there you go. And um, yeah, Stevie with no points, but Ipswich catching up to our goal, and I think, yeah, NK Dons are getting further and further in trouble. One point they were doing really well, getting get, getting good results, and now they're just having more pressure piled on them. That's honestly all we could say about that. Oh, Sterling. Oh, pretty close. Um, but yeah, not a good result for them. Portsmouth 4-0. Portsmouth. You absolute cunt! <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> if you get some points, get some uh, get points to get to Greenwich. <laughs> if you remember the Sidemen vid. <laughs> um, <laughs> but who got to the right goal scorers then? Um, Stevie put 1-0 Portsmouth, so at least he's got a point. I got a point. Yeah, I did um, as well. Uh, Jack got a point. And what about you, Liam? You got a point as well. Yeah. Fair play. You got a point. Surely you put the right goal score, didn't you? No. No, oh, I know you put Bishop. Wait, Bishop did score. Oh, I thought it was Bishop. Okay. My bad. Um, but good win for Portsmouth and that gives them a lot of confidence going into the um they've got Bolton next, haven't they? So it gives them a lot of um, confidence going into the Bolton game for sure. And uh, and so we will see how they get on against them. But for Cheltenham and if they haven't and I've seen their stat as well, they have they scored less goals this season than Forest Green. So oh dear. That's all I can say about that. But I feel like they still could have a chance of surviving this season. Uh, they will rely on Alfie May, but it depends um, how, uh, when or when, where or when they will get those results. Simple as that. And then the final game, Shrewsbury. I don't even think I got this one. I don't even get this one right. So good for me. Wow. This has been such a terrible weekend for me, man. For all of us, actually. Uh, yeah, this has been a terrible weekend for all of us. Um, yeah, Stevie got a point though for this. He put four nil Shrewsbury. So, wow, fair play. But there's no. <laughs> you know what? I actually don't even want to um count the points total for this weekend. If I'm honestly going to say, Harry's ba uh, chair got a battering in them days. They did. They did. Have a you look. absolute con. <laughs> and then you've got Jack doing. No, it. no, 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 no. 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> what's the points total? So point. All right, we will go through the points total now. But yeah, with Wickham losing um, Gareth Ainsworth, and then losing straight after they lost him, it's not going to put um, it's not going to put you in a good position. No, ain't it for the rest of this season? If I'm honestly going to say, Shrewsbury now catching up to Wickham, and it's just going to put a lot of pressure on them now. A lot of pressure, but um. And then, obviously, I don't think anyone got the... Pe- uh, I don't even think anyone got this one right, so there's no point in talking about that. Um, points total. Stevie got three, I got four, Jack got five, and Liam got six. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. I went by a point. You won by a point, and it was probably yeah. one of the shittest weekends we've all had. Yeah. the same goes, and the magic disappears quickly. Yep. The magic how many points did Jack get? Um, how many did Jack get? Five. All right. At least I beat him. How many did Jack get um, the other week? Four. Yeah, you got four. Mm. So he just got. So he just beaten that. Um, so Stevie has got the worst now out of anybody. But some of them he did put like crazy results. So I don't really count that in that conversation. I don't really. I'm not really going to put that in that. Put it in that conversation, anyways. But um, but yeah, we've already gone through some parts of the league tables. So you probably know where some of the teams are. So that's that. But um, thank you all so much for coming in and chilling. It's been 46 minutes, and I feel like that's a good time to um end it because obviously, yeah, we're not going to make it long stream because obviously, um. Really, not anything great to talk about. We did not play well yesterday, and we got absolutely embarrassed. If it was a, if we if we would have got a good win or a perfect result, it would have been a much a lot, much. We would have probably um, got a lot more hyped and a lot more excited for the um, the, pre, the, the predictions. But hey ho, mm. and the predictions weren't even good either. So that was great. But um, mm. thank you all so much for watching. If you decide to watch this back through the stream, you can. So it's only 47 minutes long, so you can actually watch this back and go through and and so and watch the stream back. So you can at least do that. But uh, thank you all so much yeah. for watching. We'll see you in the next stream. It will be for the Charlton preview. Hopefully that will be a better game. If that's not, then I'm going to cry. I'm going to yeah. cry. I will yeah. cry very, very badly. But we'll see you all then. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. And we will chat to you. Um, well, we will chat to you, but we will bring you a stream for the Charlton preview. It'll probably be either mid next week or maybe like Thursday or Friday. So catch you all then. Yeah. We'll see you then. And as always, goodbye and up the Green Army. Yeah, bye bye. When they pull on the green, they're all janitors.